So in Venezuela, every, um, Nicolas Maduro had uh, had kicked out or has kicked out diplomats, uh, even family, even even um, um, uh, American expatriate community that are there. I mean, they don't want to be there no more. I mean, they're getting kicked out. If the president is telling you guys that all Americans diplomats should leave the country, and if you're not a diplomat and you're American, well, either way, you're gonna leave too. Diplomats. Here, this, this is the convoy ex um, escorting them out of Venezuela. Is a casa militar? No, it's a five. Hey, you're going to go That's good. Honestly, that's good. Let them leave Venezuela, bro. They don't have to be there, man. It's a wrap. So they're saying that, oh my god, they're leaving now. They're, they're escorting them, those are leaving the country. And then after that, I don't think there's nothing much, yeah. So this is, this is just, this is just a, a little preview of what's actually going on out there. You know what I mean? Like the president, Nicolas Maduro of Venezuela, dictator, has kicked out the Americans from Venezuela. One more time, one more time. It looks like a, a movie, right? It's like one of those end of the world movies where like, you know what, gather before a natural disaster happens or a disaster happens. You got Russia it's flying bombers that. into Venezuela and now they're reaching coastlines in the United States. I mean, I don't know guys, this, this is like a war could be brewing. So saying the embassy, the U.S. embassy. Yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. I want to show you that video. Pretty interesting. Trump ordered 15,000 new border and immigration officers but got thousands of vacancies instead. So two years after President Trump signed orders to, to hire 15,000 new border agents and immigration officers, the administration has spent tens of millions of dollars in the effort, but has thousands of more vacancies than when it began. In a sign of the difficulties, Customs and Border Protection allocated $60.7 million to Accenture to censure federal services, a management consulting firm as part of a $297 million contract to recruit, vet, and hire 7,500 border officers over five years, but the company has produced only 33 new hires so far. Hmm, are they robbing money? Hmm, maybe, maybe. Because 33 compared to 7,500 is not even 1%, 2%. The president's promise hiring surgery steady lost ground even as he publicly hammered, publicly hammered away at the need for stiffer border security, warned of looming migrant invasion and shut down parts of the government for five weeks over his demands over for $5.7 billion from Congress for a wall. For border wall, the Border Patrol gained a total of, two, of 120 agents in 2018, the first net gain in five years, but the agency has come nowhere close to adding more than 2,700 agents annually. The rate that Kevin McAleenan, Commissioner of Customs and Border Protection, has said is necessary to meet Trump's mandated 26,370 border agents by the end of 2021. The hiring surge has not begun. The Inspector General's office at the Department of Homeland Security concluded last November we have had gone we have had ongoing difficulties with regards to hiring levels to meet our operational needs. A Homeland Security officer told the Times on Saturday, speaking on condition of anonymity, anonymity, anonymity. Sorry, he described the Border Patrol's gain last year as a huge improvement. And you know what? Off topic. What do you mean huge improvement? That's nothing. Honestly, they're they're not hiring fast enough. And there's people in these jobs. I, um. I don't know. They should probably lower their expectations or something, right? To allow more people to, you know, get hired. But continue with the story. Border security ag agencies along have faced challenges with recruitment and retention of frontline federal law enforcement, and particularly border patrol agents, much less swiftly hiring 15,000 more. 
In March 2017, Mikalinen said Customs and Border Protection normally loses about 1,380 agents a year as agents retire, quit for better paying jobs or more. Just filling that hole each year has strained resources. Beyond that, given historically low illegal immigration on the southern border, even the Homeland Security Inspector General has questioned the need for the surge. But administration officials argue an immigration system designed for single adult Mexican men has become woefully outdated. The number of families and children we are apprehending at the border is at record-breaking levels, another Homeland Security official said. It's having a dramatic impact on Border Patrol's border security mission. Since 2015, CBP officers have been required to work overtime and sent on temporary assignments to critically understaffed points on the southern, southern west border. Tony Riordan, president of the union representing about 30 CBP officers, 30,000 CBP officers told the House Homeland Security Com Committee on Thursday, after fighting for years for higher pay, staff, and better hiring process, Riordan said the agency needs to hire more officers for the 328 ports of entry. All of this contributes to a stronger border, he said. On January 25, 2017, five days after Trump was inaugurated, he signed executive orders to hire 5,000 new Border Patrol agents and 10,000 more Immigration and Customs Enforcement officers, vowing to beef up border security and crack down on illegal immigration. Today, the United States gets back control of its borders, Trump said as he signed the orders. Today, Customs and Border Protection, the Border Patrol's patrol agency, has more than 3,000 3, job vacancies, according to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. That's about 2,000 more than when Trump signed the orders, according to a Government Accountability Office report on CBP's hiring challenges. Border Patrol staffing remains below the 21,360 agents mandated by Congress in 2016, which is itself 5,000 less than Trump's order, according to the latest available data. The CBP contract with Accenture, awarded in November 2017, has drawn a special scrutiny for its high cost and limited results. Exactly. Thank you. You guys need to check what's, what's going on right there. CBP officials told the House, the Homeland, House of Homeland Security Committee in November that only 33 new officers had been hired. Under the terms of the contract, the company has paid about 40000 for each one. For each border agent? Wow. And there's only 33. Imagine there's even more. They're making bank. This is, this is a bad contract. Whoever made this contract... They need to they need to make it um, get revised by some lawyers, some federal lawyers or something, because forty thousand for each officer. Wow, they must have like a three months waiting period, right, to receive those forty thousand. Just like you know, you're okay. An entry level border patrol agent is paid fifty two thousand five hundred eighty three a year in December. The Homeland Security Inspector General's office said Accenture and CBP were nowhere near filling the the president's hiring order. It warned that if problems in, in the hastily approved contract are not addressed, CBP risk wasting millions of taxpayer dollars. That's wasting money right there. Yes, CBP subsequently scales back the Accenture contract from two hundred ninety seven million to eighty three million and issued a partial stop work order. Officials said the agency would decide in March whether to cancel the rest of the contract which they should. Represent Benny Thompson, a uh, Democrat from Mississippi, chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, said the problem plagued contract reinforces my doubts about CBP leadership. CBP cannot simply farm out its hiring and spend the hundreds of millions without addressing system systemic problems at the agency, Thompson said. Dirty Blackwood, a Centrist spokeswoman, told the Times, we remain focused on fulfilling our clients' expectations under our contract. Under your contract, key words, right? They need to revise that contract again. The first Homeland Security official de uh, defended the contract. You've got to be willing to innovate and try things. In no way, shape, or form was there fraud, waste, or abuse. There is probably fraud. Because that guy is the one that said that in no way, shape, or form was there fraud. He's probably in on it. He's probably getting some, some, some of the pie right there. Slice of the pie. Immigration and Customs Enforcement canceled a solicitation for a hiring contract with a similar pay structure to a century's last May, citing delays in this hiring timeline and limited funding from Congress. I said at the time it would restart the contracting process by the end of 2018 to help it meet to help it meet Trump's hiring order. It has yet to do so. Homeland Security officials declined to say how much has been spent or how many people have been hired since Trump's executive orders, saying the partial government shutdown prevented them from accessing the data. Accessing the data, the hiring surge foundered from the start. In 2017, six months after Trump signed his, ex his executive orders, the Homeland Security Inspector General's office said the agencies were facing significant challenges and could not justify the hiring surge. Officials could not provide complete data to support the operational need or deployment strategies for the additional 15,000 additional agents and officers they were directed to hire, the Inspector General's office wrote. On Friday, Trump signed a bill to reopen the government until February 15, ending the longest shutdown in U.S. history. Tens of thousands of Border Patrol agents and CBP workers, among others, worked without pay. So you got to give a clap for those, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a, if you're a CBP or, or any law enforcement that's handling business in the border, in the border, 
section, you know, zone. Claps to you, my man. Salutes. Salutes. Experts warned that previous attempts at hiring surge led to greater corruption, a perennial problem for law enforcement on the border. Drug cartels and other criminal groups target Border Patrol agents, offering bribes or, or even sexual favors to allow migrants, drugs, and other contraband to cross the border. And that is very true. To help fight corruption, the Border Patrol set strict vetting requirements, but those measures have slowed the hiring process. Exactly, they have. They need to, you know, their expectations, they need to lower them. They want more people, they should get more people. Give them the cameras, give them, uh, you know, equipment to record what, what was going on in their, in their daily routine, right? In their, in their work. So Border Patrol applicants must pass cognitive fitness and medical exams. They also must provide financial disclosure, undergo drug tests, and pass a law enforcement background check and a polygraphy test. Polygraphy test. Or polygraph. ICE, te ICE doesn't require the lie detector test. pays it a pays its agents more and places of places most of them in cities, not at isolated posts along the border. Supporters of the CBP requirements call them necessary safeguards to prevent the scandals of past hiring surges. Critics view them as an imp impediment to putting more boots on the border. CBP's rigorous hiring requirements, including the polygraph test, were put in place by Congress in 2010. After the agency had doubled in size and Border Patrol notched an increase in corruption and spate of deadly incidents, the FBI still leads 22 Border Corruption Task Force and reworking groups nationwide. In recent years, some lawmakers tried to help CBP get rid of the polygraph test. In 2017, the agency got the green light to waive the requirement for certain military veterans and began to test a version that improved pass rates. Party as a result, CBP has increased hiring of Fort Line personnel by nearly 15% and increased its applicant pool by 40% in the last three years, according to a Homeland Security 2019 budget document. The agency has also cut the time it tasks to hire from roughly 400 days to about 270 days. The government's goal for hiring is 80 days, but CBP CBP's has said that it's not feasible. Part of the problem stems from the Trump administration's funding dispute with Congress over the border security. We have to hire the money that we are appropriated. At the end of the day, nope, sorry, I kind of read that wrong. After Trump signed executive orders in 2017, ICE requested $830 million to hire about 3,000 new officers and build capacity to ultimately bring on 10,000, according to Government and Accountability Office report. Instead, Congress last year gave ICE $15.7 million for 65 new agents plus 70 attorneys and support staff. Over the past two years, ICE has brought on 1,325 investigators and deportation officers, according to the agency. The agency typically loses nearly 800 law enforcement officers each year, so it has not kept pace and remains far behind the president's order. For its part, CBP requested $330 million to hire 1,250 Border Patrol agents and build capacity to ultimately hire 5,000, according to the GAO report. Congress gave CBP about $65 million in 2017, improving hiring practices and offer incentives for agents to transfer to understaffed sites. In 2018, it provided $20 million more than the agency sought for recruitment and retention. CBP faced high, attri high attrition rates. I think I'm not saying that right. CBP faced high attrition rates even before the Trump administration made a polarizing organization, said Thompson, the House of Homeland Security. And that's about it. Little information on what's going on with the Border Patrol agents, ICE, you know, all that. Honestly, I think they should recheck that, that contract. They need to recheck that contract because I'm sure, I'm sure that some of the money or a lot of the money is being leaked to these uh, officials to just have more money in their pocket. All right. All right, guys. So um, <laughs> this one's a little bit crazy. Cartel dumps tortured bodies along Mexican border city highway. And this was in Reynosa, Tamaulipas. This is near Texas. They're doing it again. They're starting to do it like the 90s again. Starting to dump bodies. Well, they've always done it, but I feel like they're going to start doing it more often. All right, so let's start reading this. Gulf Cartel gunmen dumped the bodies of three victims along one of the highways in this border city. A large de deployment of police forces responded to secure the crime scene. The violence comes at a time when rival factions of the Gulf Cartel continue to fight for control of the border region. If they don't say who they're fighting, I'll, I'll mention who they're fighting. Because they're, they're having a war. Trust me, they're having a war out, out here, man. Early morning motorists moving the Libramiento Highway called authorities upon spotting three dead bodies. Tamaulipas state authorities rushed to the scene and set up a perimeter while forensic investigators documented the crime scene and collected the bodies. The cartel gunman wrapped one of the victims in a blanket, a second one in plastic, and a third was dumped tied and semi-nude. All three victims showed signs of torture. Law enforcement sources revealed to Breitbart News. Mm. 
uh, I just got, you know, Scalofrio that got shakes right now. The discovery of the three bodies along the highway in Reynosa follows almost a dozen similar cases of executions where the victims were dumped along rural roads near the city. As Breitbart News reported, Reynosa residents witnessed a rekindling of violence where the two rival factions of the Gulf Cartel that have an ongoing power struggle set off fierce firefights involving dozens of armed vehicles with gunmen carrying machine guns, grenades, and 50 caliber rifles. Wow. So that was a short article, but I just wanted to give you guys, these guys are far, uh, are fighting the Nueva Generación, all right? They're fighting Sinaloa. They're fi three cartels are fighting for what they want, which is the plaza, to pass drugs, to pass, uh, to sell drugs there. I mean, it's all about territory, and Tamaulipas has a good enough wide territory with Texas, 